Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a first of its kind collaboration between Kaiser and Matthew Holly, aka Mattisfaction over on YouTube. Wait a minute, we're on YouTube. <laughs> Go check out Mattisfaction on YouTube. He is a fellow knife reviewer and look at this bad boy. This is going to be one of the fancy ones for our Mr. Fancy Pants. And check it out. I've already taken it out of the box through the mo movie Magic. No, how about I just took it out and carried it and checked it out so I could tell you all about the Kaiser Phoenix. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its Phoenixness. This is a very, very cool knife. It has fat carbon scales with recessed liners. You have a little bit of jimping up here. I'll tell you what I feel about that jimping here in just a little bit. But it has T8 hardware all around, including this milled titanium clip, which also has T8 hardware, which is very nice, very, very nice. I love the bolster look. This bolster is aluminum, 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 and it does have a flipper. I love my flipper tabs. This flipper doesn't have much jimping. I'll tell you a little bit about that here in just a minute when we get to the action. Here's your thumb studs. Couple of, couple of studs going on there for you. Are you ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, mamacita. Would you look at that? You have plenty of flat, plenty of belly, and it still has piercing. It has a nice, nice, very nice, oh, very, very nice looking fuller. And this fuller, I thought, was going to serve no purpose because when it's closed, you can't get to it. But I did find that there is a very good use for that fuller. And stick around because I'm going to tell you about a 15% off discount at Kaiser Knives. You don't want to miss that. I'm going to hide it somewhere in this video and you're going to be like, what? And now for this pocket clip, I can tell you out of experience, it is easy in and out of the pocket. It's not too stiff. <laughs> it's not too stiff where it, it's going to tear up your pocket. It does just right. I was really appreciat appreciative of that. I'm going to look for words today. My head's just stopped up. I can't even hear myself talk, which may be a good thing. But this blade still, did I tell you? S35VN, baby, and the fit is it's absolutely solid. I mean, it is rock solid up and down. It feels like you have a fixed blade in your hand. The lockup is right in the middle where you want it, and the centering is right in the middle where you want it. So all of that is good. The fit and the finish are very good. Let's get up here and take a nice close-up look at this carbon. Look at that carbon fiber. Looks so good. Did I say it was fat carbon? I think this is carbon fiber, like regular carbon fiber. And you know, it looks like it has been on a diet. It's not too fat, but you have some fragged for your fragging, fragging. It has fragging backspacer. <laughs> It is, it is definitely, I would call that fragged, or you can just call it milled. It's a nice looking backspacer. Now, let me show you the action. For the light switch, pow, it comes out with a Thor tie. You can also do a very nice, very nice push button. So whichever way you want to do that, it works well. Now coming up here and looking at the jimping, the jimping on the flipper tab is almost like there is no jimping at all. It doesn't grab my skin whatsoever. So if you're going to go like this, I did find myself sliding off. I would have preferred a little more aggressive jimping coming all the way up to the top of the flipper. However, it is not difficult when you do the push button or when you do the light switch. Now I will make one note here on the inside of the fuller and the inside of the carbon fiber. It's a tad sharpish. So uh, yeah, admittedly, I had a little bit of a fingernail because my fingernails grow fast. And when I slammed it down like this, and I slammed it into the back. I did split my fingernail, but that's, you know, that's, that's kind of uh, that's a nitpicky. Just letting you know that it's not sharp to the touch, but it is abrupt if you come slamming down and you do it with your fingernail. Now, coming up here, you do have a little bit of room to sharpen before you get to the plunge grind. The plunge grind ends almost at the heel. So maybe one good sharpening and you're going to be right there at the plunge grind. And this is a liner lock and there is plenty, there's plenty of pass through. Disengagement is very easy. I always appreciate it when, it, oh, look at that. It's just buttery, buttery smooth. And this has a captive pivot with cage ceramic ball bearings. It's 8.4 inches long from tip to tip and it has a 3.5 inch blade. It comes in at 4.25 ounces, which I was surprised by that. The size of this knife only coming in at four and a quarter ounces is very, very good. And here's a couple size comparisons. Here's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and then the Spyderco Para 3. Let's give you a little idea. So you can see it's right along the lines of the paramilitary too, just a tad bit longer, different blade shape. And of course, you know we have to show the QSP Penguin 
because everybody should have a penguin, right? So there you go. It is a large size knife. Now, speaking of large and whether it's large or medium, what the size is, let me tell you about the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Now let's get in here and take a look. I have plenty of room and the ergos are comfortable. Extra large hands have plenty of room and Mattisfaction has extra large hands so I'm sure he is enjoying this knife a lot. It is very comfortable and I will I will say this fuller at first I was like well it's a decorative fuller and then I start oh yeah okay so besides this long flat that you have for cutting this would make a great hunting knife a great skinny knife and I find myself doing scraping a lot for <laughs> there's many things that I do scraping with and this fuller works very well. It has just enough of an edge to hold my thumb and do some scraping. Scraping off labels, scraping things off glass, scraping things off of whatever you're going to scrape. So this is actually a good scraper. Or if you're using this to do a little bit of skinning, it's going to work very well. So I do appreciate that fuller, not only for the aesthetics, but for the fact that it is usable. Now coming up here for the jipping, the jipping is rather soft. When I'm holding it, it doesn't lock my thumb into place. I can feel it, I can tell it's there, but I would prefer that the jipping had been a little bit deeper. Go a little deeper, just a little bit deeper so it grabbed my skin. It's kind of rounded off, and that may be because of the black stone wash, but that is an, just a nitpick with me. Now, you can reach up here and do this to do a little cutting too. That is very comfortable. The ergonomics, I have no complaints whatsoever about them. But I know I'm skipping all around just like I always do. Now, as far as your action, once you deploy it, it is very easy to shut. You can reverse flick it. It's not the easiest reverse flick in the world because there's not a ton of room underneath the thumb stud. But if you look right here, if it wasn't for this, uh, this milled part, then it would be difficult to do. But I find myself easily getting behind it. I can even slow roll it open with my index finger and the action is superb. It works very, very well. It's smooth. I, I know that it's gonna be even more drop sheddy once that stone wash gets wore off a little bit underneath the detent ball. So that, I mean, wow. The action, the ergos, all of that are very good. Other than a couple minor nitpicks just with the edge on the inside here, which you can get some wet sandpaper and just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that would probably solve that little uh, issue that I was talking about. But this is this is a fantastic knife. I really love how it's contoured and it fits into my hand so well. It is well made. It was well designed by someone who sees tons and tons of knives. Now I told you I would tell you, and I almost forgot. It, during October, this is 2023 October. You can get 15% off all the non-new release knives at Kaiser. The code is is hashtag Kaiser Friday Club and you can get 15% off. I will have links in the description and in the comment section where you can go to Kaiser and get a hold of one of these bad boys and get 15% off of others. others. <laughs> but tell me what you think about the Kaiser Phoenix. I am digging it. I like it. I like it a lot. Tell me down in the comments. But until I see you again, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the lives or the chats or the comments of this video or I'm seeing you hit the thumbs up button. Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.